Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. We got some big news before free agency even started. The Washington Commanders and Scott Turner are expected to reach a multi-year contract extension. So we're going to talk about all that, you know, if I think it's a good move and what this means for Washington. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content on the road to 7,500 subscribers. Also hit that like button and Turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. A lot of videos are going to be coming out in the next week or so because of free agency. And also, go ahead and follow my Twitter. First link in the description. Now, let's get right into the video. Okay, so let me read this tweet from JP Finley who did break the news. He says the Washington Commanders are expected to reach a multi-year contract extension with offensive coordinator Scott Turner per sources. New deal makes it clear. Turn is the guy for new QB Carson Wentz in Washington. So pretty big news. Less than you know, like less than 24 hours before free agency starts, or I guess free agency technically starts on Wednesday. But tomorrow is the legal tampering period, which is when we're going to start hearing the new deals, and they can officially be agreed upon on Wednesday. But, you know, not an extension with Terry McLaurin, but it's an extension with Scott Turner, and pretty unexpected. Um, I was not expecting this at all, and it happens, and I don't know. I just don't really understand it too much, because even though I am more of a Scott Turner fan than other people... But I don't love Scott Turner by any stretch of the imagination. But I just don't understand the need to extend him. Like if you're Ron Rivera and staff, like unless he's, you know, his contract is up after the season. For me, it doesn't really make sense to extend Scott Turner because, you know, let's say this is hypothetical, but he, our offense is amazing this year and next year as well. And he's sought after by some other, you know, teams and, you know, he goes and gets, you know, other teams are looking for him to be their head coach, he's going to leave regardless of the extension. So the extension does virtually nothing because other teams are still going to be able to take him from the staff because he's going to take the head coaching job over the offensive coordinator job. So unless he was his contract was up after this year, I really don't understand the move, honestly. I mean, I don't really understand it at all let me read this right here from commander's realm he says we mentioned how many qbs mclaurin has had to put up with but what about scott turner it's been hard to really judge his ability to scheme up a system when there's a, a constant fluctuation at qb hopefully once can at least provide some stability so we can properly judge turner and that's what i'm kind of thinking like i did not think even though i am somewhat of a scott turner fan i did not think that we need to get you know have an extension done with Scott Turner because the jury's still out on him, in my opinion. Like, I need to see what he can do with a quarterback. And Carson Wentz is an NFL quarterback. He's like, wherever you want to put him, he's in that, you know, low 20s range to like 15. And sometimes he can be even better than that. And, you know, Scott Turner should be able to do stuff with Carson Wentz. So we're going to be able to properly evaluate what he can do. I mean, you have to think, like, last year, the offense that was on the field, like after like week six, I mean, it was just ugly, ugly, ugly in terms of players that were on the field. I mean, Gibson was banged up all year. Obviously, Fitzpatrick was the starter. He's out during the first quarter. I mean, they planned the whole offseason for Fitzpatrick to be the starter. And then, of course, he goes down. I mean, we were down, you know, Sheriff missed a few games and then we we're on our fourth or fifth center. And we were on like Ricky Seals Jones was starting games for us for a lot of the season, honestly, and then he gets hurt, and we have, for some games, we have like John Bates and Samus Reyes as our two tight ends with Garrett Gilbert as our QB. I mean, like, he has not had the best offensive weapons to work with, and especially hasn't had a great QB, but that doesn't fault him from some of the decision-making he has. Sometimes it's just poor decisions. It's just sometimes he's too predictable, and yeah, I mean, there's good things with Scott Turner, and there are definitely bad things. I mean, you look at his first season in Washington, we did not score on the first possession at all until the last, I, I believe the last game of the season against the Eagles. This year, it was a little, 
you know, a little better. Another thing Scott Turner isn't great at is the two-point conversions. I believe he's had one successful attempt, maybe two, in his career as an offensive coordinator for Washington. So, I mean, he definitely, definitely has his faults. Do not get me wrong. But I do think we still have to give him a chance, see what he can do with a capable NFL quarterback, which Carson Wentz definitely is. I mean, think about his quarterbacks, Dwayne Haskins, you know, Kyle Allen, Taylor Heineke, one-legged Alex Smith, Garrett Gilbert. I mean, not the best out there at all. And, you know, he still at times was able to help I mean, be able to put out a solid offense out there. And I felt like they were really on a roll there in the middle of the season where they just kept on running the ball. They found their identity and then everything goes bad from there with all the injuries. And I thought they got away from the run a little bit too much. So I am still okay with Scott Turner as our offensive coordinator. And I know a lot of fans aren't. I know a lot of fans disagree with me about this. They don't like Scott Turner at all. I'm not necessarily on that side, although there were times last season where I was like, what is this guy doing? I think it's fair to have Scott Turner for this year, but I think it would be wise to not extend him until you see what he can do with the QB. Because we honestly haven't been able to properly evaluate him, either evaluate if he's good or if he's bad. So extending him before that happens, in my opinion, just isn't a good deal because there's not going to be other teams really looking for Scott Turner to be their offensive coordinator. And if and if you're Scott Turner, I mean, you like the familiarity around here with, you know, Ron Rivera, who you worked under for a while, and a lot of the offensive coaches and even front office guys. So, like, I don't think Scott Turner would leave anytime soon. And there really is no benefit to extend him. I mean, I might be missing something, but unless he's up, his contract is up after this year, there is no need to extend him. There really isn't because, you know, if he wants to leave for a new head coaching job, he is going to leave regardless of if he has like a three or four year extension or not. So to me, that part of the deal really doesn't make sense. But who knows? Free agency, though, it's coming up and or at least the legal tampering period. Some quick updates. Zach Ertz, who, you know, a lot of people thought Washington should sign, myself included, if we could get a solid deal for. You know, he just signed a deal with the Cardinals. I believe it was like a three-year, 30-something million dollar a year, or $30 million deal, like $32, $33 million. So he got paid about $11 million a year, close to that. So, you know, that's not a, a price that I think I, I, I wouldn't pay at least for Zach Ertz, considering our cap space, I just wouldn't do it. We're at about $12 million. And yes, you can manipul manipulate a, you know, some uh, parts of your cap space, like William Jackson could get a restructure, Kendall Fuller could, we could extend Eric Flowers, and you could restructure Wentz's deal, but you're not, you, you, know, you can't really convert much to a signing bonus. You kind of have to push it back to other years. So you're you know, kind of putting yourself at more risk for future years so let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about washington extending scott turner i know a lot of people are not a fan of scott turner and i know a lot of people definitely aren't a big fan of what we just did extending him we'll see though we'll see and yeah thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoy and make sure guys you turn your notifications on because tomorrow and, you know, the next few days, I will be putting out videos whenever we sign a guy or anyone signs one of our guys. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace.